What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the Faraway Paladin. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you'll be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon channel membership and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the Faraway Paladin episode 5. We were fighting stagnant and then will he meet his oath to gracefield the goddess of the divine torch which helps him fight against stagnant and the undead but then towards the end of the episode will realize that stagnant was kind of distracting him because we're thinking that stagnant's main goal was thus bloody and merry so it's like oh no he's like no my family so that was the end of the episode and we're going to see the continuation of that i am impressed by how they're making will sound like he sounds really young like to the point where it's feminine sounding and usually female voice actors um, voice younger boys. Look at him chasing after his family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're worth being cautious of. You got that sword that can heal you. And you have Gracefield's Divine Torch. Really? Are they really going to enter into the cycle of birth and death? I don't remember that part. It's been so long since I read the manga. What? Yo! There is no opening! That's how serious this is getting. No openings. Holy cannoli. They're like, yeah, we're going to give you as much time as you can get from this episode. We're not even going to use up the time for the opening. Dang! Oh, wow. You see how Blood's protecting Mary? Oh. Oh, Stagnus, like, grinning. Ooh, a divine blessing? <gasps> Is it Mater? Is this the goddess that Mary made her oath to? The one that she's been praying to for this whole time? Oh, look how Mary's crying. She's been forgiven all along. Never revoking her divine blessing. So Mary could forgive herself. Earth Mother Mater, the Mary Rivers is truly a great goddess. Oh, I hope we get to see the other gods. Guides. Those, ooh, this is like perfect. Wait, 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 Stagnant, what are you going to try to do? Are you going to take the hit? Whoa. So there is salvation for people who sell their souls. They just have to find a worshiper of Gracefield.
Oh. Wow. He's actually like taking hits. I will remember that name. Oh, he is on the target list. Will, you are on his watch list. Whoa! I will live right and then die. You saw that explosion? It was like an explosion of white that kind of looked like explosion of smoke. And then all of a sudden we saw like the veins in Stagnant's body. They're like glowing and such. And then he just dissipated. That was an interesting fight. It's like, yeah, this was like a big battle, but that wasn't really his body body, right? That was like an echo. There we go. All the things that the three of them gave me, the sword, the magic, and the prayer technique. Prayer technique seems so important in this anime. Oh my gosh. Anime or story? Or like story. I like how the story is incorporating Mary's prayer technique into his fighting style, I guess. Oh, cry, Will. Cry out your exhaustion. Yes, you protected them. Will's adulthood, yo. You know what from 200 years ago? You know, ways to let a child drink it. Oh, she's letting him drink. It'd be so weird to try to peek on his mom. Like, before he wasn't really calling her mom, right? Or was he? But anyways, it's like... Oh! What's wrong with your bodies? <gasps> What's wrong with your bodies? Your body deteriorating because there's no like blessing sustaining it. Research has been exceedingly easy on us. Why only them two? What about Gus? Is it because Gus doesn't have like a body body? Let them die and then reborn. And Bill, when you have kids, hopefully it'll be them. <laughs> That's true. Parents should die before their children. Really sad for parents when their kids die before them. I think this would be good because you can see them rest in peace. 
but before he goes on his adventures. It's really sad that he had a time limit with them. Me, my children and my grandchildren. Oh, that breaks my heart. Oh, I like how they made him kind of drop his body out of despair. Don't be selfish now. Be reasonable. Oh, Will just wailed. He was, ah. Cry your heart out, Will. Real men cry. Oh, man. You know, no matter who he meets after this, he'll have all this baggage. Join your earth to the goddess of light and kill the god. He didn't really kill god, he more like defeated. You know, he might displace this love and attachment that he'll lose in any moment onto others. Like, for example, when he's in the party and they're in danger, he's going to try and keep them safe as much as possible to the point where he gets a little scary. Wow, they're showing what she looks like. Or are these their souls? Are they moving on? Oh. We mean too soon. Kinda late. Yeah, they're kinda late, yo. Yeah, say goodbye with them too. Or is he letting Will have his own goodbyes? Then Gus will have his own goodbyes. Then they'll have a goodbye with all four of them. Oh, he's praying. Look at that grease fields getting the souls. Cycle of death and rebirth. Very cool. I like how everything's connected. Or became connected. Oh. Okay, so. Where's your traveling gear? Why did you die too? <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Evil grandchild. <laughs> Ooh. 
Dang! Has he been holding that the whole time? Stagnant money. <laughs> Oh, the High King Seal, that's right. Grace feels Aaron boy. That's cool. I think Mary and Blood are like tired. <laughs> 10 more. Another 10. That's true. People are like that. Once it's up, they're like, can I get more again? You let me before. Oh, that was a beautiful scene with Will. The wind blowing the grass. Worship of Grace has gone out of style. Ooh, you need to rejuvenate faith of the goddess of light, Will. You gotta replenish her power. Get her more worshippers. Spread the word. There we go. There's the traveling gear. Do you know what this kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of um, RPGs where you take on different classes and you combine two classes and you have a choice of getting a new class because you've mastered two classes. That's what this is reminding me of. And it's like... What was it? I was playing Final Fantasy Origin. Uh, the demo. Oh, oh, wait, the names! The names! Mary Blood! You are William Mary Blood! Oh! Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> you don't need my initials. Old man Augustus. Ah. <laughs> uh, William G. Mary Blood. Now that's a name telling a story. That's a good name. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, there's more. Oh, look at that. That's blood, yo. Are we going to see Mary and Augustus? <laughs> wow! So that's what her gear looked like. It looks very fitting for battling. Ah, uh, I was not expecting this. It's really cool. Jeez. 
Jeez Louise. Blood looks huge next to her. Damn. Oh, he wanted to protect her by telling her not to come. Oh. Ooh, sassy. He's shy. You didn't knock her unconscious. She went with you. Oh. Dang! Whoa, whoa, that, how do you argue against that? <laughs> yeah, I really love her and I, I didn't know she had it in her. Okay, Mary can be crazy. Oh, they were going to get married. But they were kind of like a couple. Like, what I mean, they were like a married couple, especially when they were raising Will. Oh. Oh, they did live in a home on the hill. Oh, no. And Will was tutored by Gus. And you did teach Will how to fight. Oh, Will fulfilled all your dreams for a son. Oh, Will was adorable. <gasps> what was the name they choose? We're talking about our kid. We'll call him William. Helmet of Will. Oh! This baby's here. Oh my gosh. Gosh darn it, this episode! Oh, that made me tear. Not the part where, you know, Mary and Blood were, you know, leaving Will. It was before he was born. Oh, that was, oh my gosh. I think what made me tear up about that last part. Oh, that part was so good. I'm so glad they added to this anime. Oh my goodness. I think what made me tear up was they were alive. And they're going to a battle where they might die. And they were talking about their future together if they survived. And they didn't really survive. And they became undead. And they were talking about, oh, let's get married, live in the house on the hill. They did end up in the house on the hill. Not too sure if they got married, married, but, you know, they're domestic partners. So that's pretty much being married. And then, you know, because they were undead, they couldn't produce kids. But then Will came along, and I bet when they saw Will, they were like, oh my gosh, he's a miracle. He's the chance we can have. And Will had red hair, so he could totally pass off as being Blood's kid. Oh my gosh. And they did everything they planned for a son with Will, uh, including with Gus being the tutor. Oh, that was endearing. Oh, that was so good. Oh my gosh. And there was a reason why they call him, names him Will. It wasn't because that was Will's name before he was born. Like, you know how when there's like a basket with a baby in it and there's a name on the basket saying, oh, that's his name. You know, you know like Black Clover. You know what I mean? And, uh, but they chose the name and there was a reason for it. And now his full name is William D. Maryblood. Oh. That's so good. What did you think about this episode? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the 
description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash the Halo Super Arena. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where I talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is a Sabrina channel reacting to the Faraway Paladin episode 5. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!